Interestingly enough, in all of the travels I've been doing since we've been doing the show, I wish I had a dollar for everybody who's come up and said, I worked for a guy like you. I hated his guts. Hated his guts. There, there evidently are thousands of city editors, news editors, that I resemble. Or at least it, it's a constant ogre image that is found in city rooms. As an actor, what does your interest in politics stem from? Involving people. I, uh, uh, with all of the, the political scandal that's gone on in the, uh, in the past year, uh, the, the denigrating of politics has reached a new high. And I don't think politics can be improved by denigration. Politics can only be improved by people becoming informed, by people becoming involved. The Democratic Telethon is one way of people becoming involved. And that's by their money. And maybe if some of the cynics who say uh, politics is a dirty racket, perhaps if they parted with some money in response to an appeal to help a party, to help an institution, perhaps politics might be improved. Some people think that actors are used for window dressing, and that isn't really very legitimate in politics. I am the sloppiest looking window dressing you can find. <laughs> but I, I've, I have uh, been, been bothered by this, uh, by this conflict of why should an actor and what he says mean anything to anybody else? What qualifies an actor to speak of? I, I am here to enjoy San Diego weather. God, it's beautiful. Uh, but I'm also here to, to contribute to, to help erase a debt. That's why I'm here to help inform voters, to help register voters. Uh, I'm interested in those things. And uh, viewpoints and biases don't mean a thing. Uh, these are honest, legitimate endeavors I'm here for. Uh, not backing a particular candidate, although I will do that eventually. But um, uh, when an actor speaks his mind, I hope somebody's around to challenge him on what his mind is.